All right, I just hit record and I'm just gonna talk. Didn't plan this, probably should have planned it. Here's the album we're gonna talk about today. It's another CD review. This is one of my favorite songwriters ever in terms like in the rock world and like the, oh, here we go, I was talking about it. So you guys all know Europe. Everybody knows Europe, right? Like right now, they're on the Geico commercials, but everybody knows the final countdown, right? Um, mostly you know Carrie and uh, Carrie's a great song. I don't care if it's cheesy and old, it's a great song. Um, and like Rock the Night and that kind of stuff. So uh, the, ma the lead singer for Europe is Joey Tempest, who wrote, I think he wrote the first five Europe albums alone. And by the time he was like 26 or so, something ridiculous. The guy's written so many friggin' songs and at a very young age, like very prolific and very good stuff. Like good guitar, keyboard, 80s songs with hook. And, and he was he's really, really great songwriter. Uh, so Europe had, oh crap, I should have thought this through. Uh, you know, Wings of Tomorrow, uh, Final Countdown, Out of This World, um, and then uh, the Prison of Paradise. So I guess, I think they had five. I hope I got this right. They had five records. Uh, last one was Prisons of Paradise in 91, 92. I want to say 92. And then they broke up because it was 92 and they were Europe. And the lead singer, Joey Tempest, started making solo records. So this is his first solo album. So we're talking about, took me a minute and a half to get to this. We're talking about A Place to Call Home. Yeah, A Place to Call Home by Joey Tempest. So this is 95. If you're familiar with Europe, and you're not familiar with this, and you like Europe, it's very interesting. It is definitely a 90s singer-songwriter album. It's not big reverb. It's not big chorus vocals. I like it, because I like I like good singer-songwriters. It doesn't matter. But it's definitely produced in the mid-90s kind of way. Everything's very dry and clean. And um, it sounds good, though, if you put your headspace in the time frame of it. He might have been even trying to reinvent himself. I mean... You know, you're European. He's 30 here, I think. He still looks 25. You know, like, who's Joey Tempest? Maybe he tried to hook on with that. Maybe he just wanted to be, continue to be productive. Whatever. But uh, this is really good. This is a very good album. Um, it's if Don't get it expecting Europe. Get it expecting, like, a singer-songwriter kind of stuff with great vocals and, and really good songwriting. Um, we Come Alive, the very first song is just upbeat and happy. I think I read he was trying to, like... Like, um, channel some Springsteen and just really kind of touch into, like, singer-songwriter kind of stuff. Uh, we Come Alive, that's good. It's kind of Van Morrison-esque. Under the Influence is, is really nice. A Place Called Home is beautiful. Pleasure and Pain I didn't like. Elsewhere is a great song. Very beautiful. Uh, Lord of the Manor I really like. I don't even know what it's about. Lord of the Manor is so good. But it's a great song. Everything is really well produced. And it's just very, everything's very pleasant and, and uh, are present and very, the clarity it's really good. Don't go change on me. is great. Harder to leave a lover than uh, excuse me. Harder to leave a friend than a lover. Great song. Uh, I liked. Every, I only pulled out two songs. I, ten of these songs are great. For my country, is a beautiful song. Um, oh, it's just, it's, a, it's a really. This is a really good record. So I don't know how much it is. I know it's not cheap. I know it's not easy to come by. But um, I would definitely check it out. I would highly recommend this. Ten of the twelve songs are very good. I try to akin it to. Um, God, who's it like? If you don't, who's it like? I mean, it's a little Jude Cole. If you know who Jude Cole is, it's a little. It's a. It's not really Richard Marx because Richard Marx writes about mostly love, and it's a little more lush production. This is a little more. Mm, you know, it's really weird. There's two songs on this record. This is gonna be a stretch. There's two songs on this album that remind me of an Indigo Girls song. Um, the very first song we come alive. There's parts of it that remind me of a song called "Shame on You" by the Indigo Girls. And there's a song called uh, da, 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 don't, go, don't, go, don't Go Changing On Me. There's a part that reminds me of an Indigo Girls song called um, uh, Moment of Forgiveness. This is me geeking out. No one knows what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, uh, that's Four Minutes of Life. Joey Tempest, listen, if you like Europe or you like good singer-songwriters, it is a good record. Um, I'd recommend it. Good stuff on here. Very, very good. Lots of different uh, shades, and you get to see a, a side of uh, the guy that was the mastermind behind most of the Europe songs that you wouldn't see without that. It's just very, very good stuff. So, solid record. I'm glad I listened to it. I'm glad I, I'm glad I bought it. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. All right. Uh, subscribe to this channel. I will continue to have the most diverse and schizophrenic album reviews maybe of any channel because I really just am looking at the stuff that I'm talking about. And it's there's consistency, but not enough. Um that's it. Subscribe. Anything you want me to talk about, I'll be glad to do it. And thanks for listening. All right. Bye.